you're fasting. You're going to be a little bit hungry. There's simply no way around that. But we've assembled some simple hacks to help you overcome your hunger and make it a little bit easier on you. Drink carbonated beverages, carbonated water, regular mineral water. Sometimes you just want a little bit of that zing in your mouth, a little bit of that feeling where it feels like you're drinking more than just water. But hey, it's easy to get and it's inexpensive. Next up is going to be coffee and tea. See, there's different responses that coffee and tea have within your body. The caffeine itself is going to stimulate more in the way of epinephrine and norepinephrine, which are what are called catecholamines that actually prevent you from being hungry in the first place. Remember, coffee and tea are stimulants, and when your body is stimulated, you're in a natural fight or flight response. You don't really wanna eat a cheeseburger when you're getting chased by a tiger, right? Okay, that's the whole idea that we're going after. Next up is going to be consuming salt. Okay, whether you're consuming salt in a liquid form by adding salt to your water, licking on a little bit of salt block, or chewing on some coarsely ground salt, it's going to give you that sense of satiety once again, but it's also going to communicate with your brain so that you don't feel as hungry or crave sweets as much. One that people often overlook is exercise. There's two reasons that exercise is going to suppress your appetite. One, you're moving and it's gonna direct blood flow away from your gut, away from your stomach, and it's gonna direct it over to the muscles because you're moving. So therefore, you're gonna have less communication with the digestive system in your brain. And additionally, you also increase the amount of ketones that are flowing through the blood. Ketones, specifically beta-hydroxybutyrate, has been shown in multiple studies to be a very powerful appetite suppressant. It's the body's natural protective mechanism. So when you exercise and you produce more ketones, it's naturally gonna suppress your appetite. You say there's this thing that we call the radio voice, right? It's always talking. It's always telling you that you're hungry or telling you that you need to do something. And sometimes it's just that little voice that, well, gets inside your head and makes you feel like you're hungry even when you're not. So that's where meditation and mindfulness really comes in. So we have a series of fasting meditations within Zero to help you get through the hunger, to help you understand what's happening, but also be a little bit more mindful of what exactly is going on, why you may be hungry and how to combat it. Now, another way to overcome hunger is actually something that you don't do during your fast, but rather before you start your fast. If you get yourself fat adapted, your fast is gonna be a lot easier. Well, being fat adapted means that your body's cells are already adjusted to utilizing fat for fuel. So you might be wondering, well, how the heck do I get fat adapted? Well, in some cases, it's a longer process where it's doing lots of fasting or a ketogenic diet prior to embarking on a fast. But one of the quickest ways that you can get your body a little bit adjusted so that you don't have the glucose spike is the last one or two meals prior to starting your fast, make them lower carbohydrate. That way, you're not having a glucose spike. You're already starting at a relatively low baseline because newsflash, it's only when that glucose comes crashing down that you typically get hungry. Another tip, and one that's not always the easiest to control, is trying to get a good night's sleep before you fast. Sleep signals a lot of different processes within the body. And if you're not sleeping well, even just cutting off one to two hours, you can trigger all kinds of different hormonal and enzymatic cascades that make you feel hungry. If you've ever had one of those situations where you come home from work and you raid the pantry and you don't even know what you're doing, you're just stuffing your face, that's kind of like what it is. Sometimes it's beyond our control. And when you're sleep deprived, it becomes infinitely more difficult. So do whatever you can to get good quality sleep. Hunger is one of many challenges that you're throwing at yourself while you're fasting. And it's not always bad. Sometimes hunger means that you're overcoming hurdles. Sometimes it's time to tell you something. It's trying to tell you that you really need to eat. It's your job to be aware and ascertain between the two.